Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video. In this video we're going to be uh, looking at everything you need to know regarding the new Flashpoint specifically that's going to be coming with patch 5.4 this Tuesday. So it's a few days away and what I want to do in this video was talk about some new information we have regarding the different difficulty modes, how you'll get access to it, what you need to do in order to access to uh, it, and then also a few reminders of what you probably want to get done before patch 5.4 hits as well. So going on right into the start with some stuff we already know, obviously I'm not going to be discussing any of the data mine information if that's something you're interested in i already did a video on that i'll link it uh, in the description and you guys can go check that out if you want to but basically the general plot revolves around a traitor that traitor was introduced with the war for Owlcath storyline and in this uh flash point we will get to know who the traitor is get some insight into why they did what they did and then also um the storyline itself revolves around the traitor who was smuggling these crystals on a train and so it's going to involve hijacking the train but then also from the images that we see in the background here we're going to be a tra transversing or traversing the planet as well going to be fighting all these different beasts and monsters so the flashpoint's very long it's going to include some very interesting mechanics as well probably but perhaps most importantly it's going to involve the planet which is a, which i think a lot of people were more interested in because it's a planet that goes back to the clone wars the tv show and the game as well Anyways, going on, on into some of the more pertinent information, which is how you can get access to the Flashpoint itself. So there are actually four modes. The first one is just the normal story mode. So this is the continuation of the War for Owlcat storyline. So obviously you must have a character that is level 70, and that character must have completed the War for Owlcat storyline. So you get the mission uh, for the Flashpoint from your ship terminal. Obviously this is the version you can play by yourself. You don't need a group. These are the choices, I guess, that you're going to make that are actually going to, I guess, continue on the storyline, right? I mean, it's debatable whether our choices matter, but the bottom line is these are the choices that I think get logged in. So um, this is kind of the normal story mode, but you must have completed the War for Owlcat storyline. The other story mode is the repeatable version. Now this one, once again, you must have a level 70 character, but you don't have to have completed the War for Owlcat storyline. You just need a level 70 character and you access this through Group Finder. So you will, you will need three other people to do the Flashpoint with, so it's not going to be the solo mode. You can only do the solo mode once once it seems like uh, with with a given character to do this group mode you can keep repeating it that's important because you're going to want to keep farming it for that currency uh, which we'll talk about later when we get to the stronghold part but anyways that's the repeatable story mode you need a level 70 character you don't need to have completed the war for Owlcat, but you will need three other people which you will find via group finder the third mode is veteran mode. Now, this one is actually for any character level 15 to 70. So you can do this way on your lobby character. You do this by queuing up for this flashpoint by group finder. And obviously characters who are level 15 to 69 will be bolstered. So um, yeah, that's another way I guess you can farm it if you have a character that isn't exactly level 70. However, you will only be uh, limited to doing it on veteran mode, which is arguably, arguably going to be a little bit harder. And also... Um, you don't need to have done either COD fee or anything like that. So that's kind of good for people who want that freedom. And then finally, you of course have master mode. Now this is one where they made a few changes. Basically, you obviously must have a level 70 character. Uh, you don't need to have completed any of the storyline or anything. You queue for it via group finder, but your character must have an average item rating of 242. So if you want to do a master mode flashpoint, you want to do it via group finder, you need to have that average item rating. That's something new that they're adding to the game. However, you can still do it with any item rating as long as it's in a pre-made group and you go and enter the flashpoint manually. So you can't do it via group finder unless you have that rating. But if you're in a guild, you're not quite, you don't quite have that high of a rating, but you have three other people willing to go in and do it with you, then you can still do it. You just need to enter it manually. And then finally, we're going to get into some of the new rewards that we're going to be getting. So while the Crisis on Ubarra storyline is obviously about pushing that storyline forward and I guess hopefully giving us some sort of conclusion about who the traitor is, it's also going to offer some really cool rewards. Obviously, the new stronghold is one of the biggest rewards. So this is going to require you to have a key. And in order to buy that key, you will use the currency you get from completing the flashpoint. So each successful completion of the flashpoint, probably the last boss will drop it. Uh, they'll drop these things called Alliance Recon Data. Then you can use that data to buy rewards from the vendor. One of those rewards is the stronghold key. Now, uh, the, data, the information that we've been given from the devs is that you will need to complete story mode 10 times. 
veteran mode five times or master mode three times in order to get enough of that data in order to buy the stronghold key and that's only for one character keep in mind uh, this alliance recon data is bind on pickup meaning it is not bind on legacy so in other words if you want to keep farming that data you need to keep using the same character you cannot go and switch between different tunes and complete the flashpoint that way so to repeat, because this is probably very important for you to not waste your time, you need to complete the flashpoint on the same character in order to stack up enough of the Alliance recon data to get the stronghold. Also, another really important thing to keep in mind is when you get the stronghold key, you do not immediately get access to the stronghold. You will need to travel to Odessin. There's going to be a special room in your Odessin war base where you can purchase the stronghold. Why they have done this, I'm not sure, because it's going to actually limit like what character you can do it on, because you're going to need to use a character that has access to your Odessan war base. So you get that through two things, two, through two ways, right? One, you complete the Kotfi storyline up to chapter nine, which I'm sure not everyone has done. But also secondly, uh, if you don't have that, you need to buy the legacy perk, which gives your character the access to the Odessan war base, regardless of whether they've completed the storyline. That character perk is available uh, in your legacy tab and you can buy it for 200,000 credits. So it's not too expensive, but you're gonna need to make sure you have that available if you're using a character that has has not completed the Kotfi storyline yet. In any case, that's how you buy the stronghold. And then also uh, keep in mind that even though you're farming currency for it, you still will need to pay credits for the stronghold. The initial purchase will cost you 2 million credits. And then there are two expansions to the stronghold, each of them costing you 800,000 credits. So it's substantially cheaper than the other strongholds, but that's also because you have to complete the flashpoint numerous times to get that, uh, to get that currency. There's other rewards available from the um, stronghold. So other things include, we'll get a new mount, we'll get a new armor set, and we'll get new crafting schematics, which I believe the data mine information showed to be biochem. So those are biochem stims. So new stims and stuff that we'll be able to have med packs as well. Uh, so for those of you who craft using biochem, there's some new schematics for you guys that you're probably gonna wanna get your hands on. And then also for everyone, we're getting a new armor set and a new mount, which we'll have to look at to see if it's really nice because uh, most people are probably going to be farming the Alliance Recon data for the Stronghold more than these other things. But these other things are just kind of a nice little add-on. And in any case, that's kind of the new information and basically a compilation of everything you need to know regarding the new Crisis on Ibarra Flashpoint. Um, also, just two quick reminders I wanted to make before patch 5.4 hits this Tuesday. The first one is remember that the ranked season eight is gonna to come to an end. So if you have any ranked season seven tokens, make sure you go and spend them because those will now become useless. They'll probably get taken away from your inventory. So go and spend them on just whatever. There's no point in, uh, in losing them. And the second thing is make sure that if you are playing this ranked season, you get in your games and now you get as many tokens as you need in order to get the new rewards. And then uh, the second quick reminder is the nightlife event will also come to an end. So if you're like me and you have some gold certificates just lying around, make sure you go and spend those as well because we don't know when the nightlife event will return again. I mean, it's been years since we saw it before and then, uh, you know, it might be years since we see it again. So you might as well spend those uh, gold certificates and get whatever rewards you can get now. I, I kind of have to go do that myself, so I might as well get that done before I forget. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative. Let me know how excited you guys are for this new flashpoint in the comments section i'm kind of have my hopes up considering it's um it's been hyped quite a lot so i'm kind of excited for it anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next one